Hey guys, this is what happened but you weren't here so you missed it. Um, doing a living room vlog today because I don't have a lot of footage for today and let me put my feet up because I'm not feeling very well. Sean gave me a cold. Thank you very much, Sean. Uh, this is kind of a weird story. <laughs> my husband and I were sitting around last night. Well, we weren't exactly sitting around, but um, we were di discussing something. So we put in... Um, a question da -da -da -da, to Googs, as we call it, to Google to find out um, the answer for some social security benefit thing. So um, Yahoo Answers came up and somebody had asked the question on Yahoo Answers and now I know from the past that Yahoo Answers is a little bit questionable because um, Maddie back in the day, which I mean two years ago when she was in high school, used to think that Yahoo Answers was the shiz. I mean, she was like, Mom, let me just put it into Yahoo Answers and I'll come up with the answer. And they're right most of the time. So, you know what? That's okay for a high schooler, but adults, <laughs> I don't think it's too reliable to get uh, information from Yahoo Answers. But I clicked on it and funny enough, the answer was correct. But I'm scrolling down and looking at the comments and way at the bottom it's like related posts. And something just like flashed <laughs> in front of me and it was like, can I sell severed pig penises on eBay? And I'm thinking, I can't pass this one up. I'm just going to have to click on this. I don't care if my computer gets a virus or whatever. I just want to see what the hell's going on with this severed penis collection. So I click on it and... <laughs> It went into this whole story and it started out like, okay, so we used to work for a butcher and um, <laughs> I have this penis fetish and, well, pig penis fetish. It wasn't just a penis fetish, it was a pig penis fetish. And when my boss wasn't looking, I used to cut off the penises and bring them home and save them and... I'm over that now, and I'm all done with them, so I was just wondering if I could sell them on eBay. And I'm thinking, who's going to buy used pig penises on eBay? I mean, I'd be so embarrassed to, like, actually mail these out to somebody if somebody wanted to buy them. <laughs> what the hell? But, you know, I thought, well, maybe it's a joke, but the guy went into so much detail, and then he went on to say about how the testicles weren't attached, and if that was going to devalue the whole situation... Just let me know so I could throw them away. Okay, that's bad enough. But then when I scroll down to the best answer, because I guess they, like, vote on the best answer, you know, they rate it. The number one best oh, answer was, dude, you can't sell food on eBay. <laughs> Not, hello, mofo, what are you, crazy? I'm sending the police to your house right now. What are you doing with a severed penis collection that you stole from work? What is wrong with people? So then I went back today <laughs> to find it so I could show you guys that I'm not making this stuff up because I am definitely a freak magnet. Things have a way of finding me. I never find things like, you know what I mean? I don't go looking for stuff like this. It just lands in my lap. The community guidelines took it down. So I was like, the one time that I wanted to show you guys something incredible, the damn Yahoo Answers people took it down. How could they? So, uh, yeah. If you've had any, uh, I, needless to say, Yahoo Answers is now my new favorite spot to, like, look for incredibly stupid things. Uh, sorry, uh, Craigslist misconnections. You've lost out to Yahoo Answers. So if you guys have had any experience with Yahoo Answers, uh, if you could leave it in the comments. <laughs> and yeah, we're doing a live show tonight. So I guess we'll see you at the live show. So until next time, much love.